a tool basically a ticketing tool uh, you may call it issue logger or anything related to ticketing so this is the tool i developed based on the business requirement which you can customize as per your need so if i talk about the features at the top these are the filters based on the status of the ticket where user can uh, filter out request based on the status something like this completed then in progress then new request also it is providing the count and this count is not coming from the gallery it is directly coming from the backend source in my case i am using sharepoint so it is calculating the number of requests based on status directly from the source next feature this tool provides uh, where user can search request by title uh, something like this so this is the keyword matching with the title of the request so it filter out the matching result now uh, next feature user can see a uh, few details related to ticket like the ticket title who created it and assigned to currently mike is a person who is taking care of this particular request and the status also whether it is completed new and in progress user can also see the details by clicking on this button it will provide uh, further details related to that particular ticket by clicking on this it will redirect to the home page user may log new request as well using new issue something like this last for the source where issue exist and we can submit ticket like this now uh, just to demonstrate you let me show you uh, this is the another user in my tenant mike and these are the requests uh, which were created by mike so only two requests similar functions like filter based uh, based on the status of the request so if i talk about the backend part uh, development part how i developed it first the data source here is the backend sharepoint list this is the sharepoint list uh, which is the data source for my app now if i talk about the components of the app the first one is the user image and the user full name this i am retrieving using user function user function provide all the information related to the logged in user so you can customize it as per the requirement you can also you know populate more details like user department or anything by using the same function next uh, i am using two buttons first button uh, is just to you know uh, keep user on the home page my view basically and the second one second button we are using to redirect them to the screen too and this is i am providing the transition basically the effect and uh, simultaneously i am also resetting the form so let me show you it will redirect something like this to the new form user can populate the detail and they can submit the entry so the next feature is related to the filter these are the buttons so if i navigate to the on select property i am using a global variable and i am setting up the value using set function similarly for the other buttons based on the user input i am extracting data and you know uh, binding this gallery by using the switch function something like this where button uh, this will take the input from user and if user is selecting the first total item button then this condition will be evaluated something like this where filter this is the data source my issue list and i am filtering out the records based on the created by whosoever user raised the request and the logged in user using this 
starts with I'm using for the search feature. Similarly, for the other other inputs, like if user click on the completed, then this particular this particular statement uh, will evaluate and extract the data from the backend source. Similarly, for the other like in progress request for the new request and it will bind this gallery based on the interaction and if you look at the default uh, value I am extracting all records from the backend list. Uh, if I talk about the cards on the gallery then I am again using a button and uh, on the button I am displaying this information like title of the request by using this this item dot title similarly for the other labels like this item dot created by and the display name now uh, this tool also provide search feature where user can search request based on the input whatever they are providing in this search input box and later on I'm using this input uh, to filter out the record based on the uh, text or the keywords available in the search box. Uh, first we are filtering the request based on the created by and uh, logged in user then we are using starts with function where we are matching the details request title details search box this is the name of this search box whatever input user is providing in the search box it will filter out records based on the keyword there is one more feature when user uh, submits a new ticket an email will trigger to the team uh, something like this let me demonstrate you I have set up a flow in the back end so whenever there is a new item in the SharePoint list, it will trigger email to the specified user, something like this. Let me show you quickly. So this is the flow. Uh, I'm using action when an item is created in the SharePoint list. This is the site address and the name of the list. Next action I'm using here is the send an email from a shared mailbox. This is my shared mailbox and these are the users from the team uh, who are going to receive the request email. This is the email. This is the th template, basic template. You may customize it as per the business need you may provide, uh, pass this information in table. I already uh, recorded a video how to pass a table or how to format detail in a table, HTML table in Power Automate. Please check out the channel for the video or I will provide the link in the description. So uh, this is the email. Hi team, new issue has been logged by the person who uh, who has created the issue and next please take the required action few details related to the issue or the ticket ID of the ticket priority and the link to the ticket where user can click or the team member can click on the link it will redirect to the edit form this is the native SharePoint based edit form where they can Take the required action like uh, changing the status to in progress and to assign request to any particular user and they can save it. So this is all uh, related to the ticketing tool. If you want uh, or if you have any query, feel free to comment below. I'll help you to customize it as per your requirement. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe and like the video.